In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to insert and edit the characters that come with Articulate 360. So go ahead and open up your PowerPoint file. Go to the Articulate tab, and then you'll see the Insert Characters. So we're going to click on that. That's going to open up a Characters window. Now you'll notice that we have three types of characters. So we have Photographic, Illustrated Realistic, and Illustrated Cartoon. Then you have some filtering options. So you can filter male or female, and then different types of clothes, and then different kind of approximated age groups. So let's go ahead and look at the photographic characters first. So I'm going to select that. Now I see all the photographic characters. You can see there's quite a few uh, that you can choose. Uh, you'll notice that some characters have a little blue icon here. And that's just a download icon. So that's going to let you know that needs to be downloaded. And of course you need to be connected to a network. Uh, to actually download those. So if you're not connected to the internet, you won't be able to download them at that time. Uh, but if you want to download a character, you can just click on it. And you'll get a little download indicator here. You can see it's downloading. Get a little affirmation. And now the character is on your system. So if I select the character, you'll notice that I have access to the pose. So the photographic characters are going to be a character series. And then you're going to have poses for the character. So I'll click on Pose. And you can see I've got dozens of poses to work with. Uh, that could be a little daunting to go through. Fortunately, we give you some filtering options. So you've got emotions, and then you also have different styles. So let's say you're just looking for thinking pictures. You've got thinking here, or you want uh, just talking photos. Uh, you can get the talking ones. Or if you want to provide some feedback, uh, maybe you want to give positive uh, feedback in your course. So you can see how that works. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and insert the character. And then it's just like any other object that you have on your slide. You can move it around, scale it, crop it, and all of that. Let's say you're working with this character and you actually want to change the character. We'll change it to one of the uh, illustrated realistic characters. So I'm just going to select my character. I'm going to go up here, Character, Edit Character. And now I'm back in my Characters menu. I'm going to choose Realistic. And then you can see I've got the same types of options. And one of the things you'll notice about the illustrated characters, whether it's the realistic or the cartoons, is that they actually have expressions to go along with the poses. So let's go ahead and choose Amber here. And you can see I can have a left or right view of the character. So you can see how that works. And then I also have different expressions. So I've got these expressions here. Let's say I want her to be angry. And then you can see I can also change the pose. So I've got a number of poses to work with. So we'll go ahead and choose this one. So she's angry. We're going to insert her. And you can see how it swapped the photographic character with the illustrated character. Again, we'll come back up to Edit, Edit Characters. And uh, we'll do the photorealistic. And again, uh, just like the photograph, if you want to download it, you can click that. But let's say you have a character that's already downloaded and you want to take it off of your system. Let's say we have Blake here. If I right click on Blake, I have two options. One is I can view Blake online in the content library. So if I click on that, that'll take me to the content library and I can view uh, the characters from there. Or I can remove him from the library. So if I click on Remove, he's going to be removed and then he's no longer available. I have to download him if I want to reuse him. And you can see I've got the prompt here, and I've also got the prompt here. The illustrated cartoon characters, those are kind of the classic characters that came with the original uh, storyline, and we've had them here for a while. And the same thing, you've got the character, you've got expressions, and you have poses. And then you have some filtering options as well. And these really come in handy. So if I look, I want a female to be in the 20s, and I want something in casual clothes. You can see how that uh, filters out the characters for me. And then again, if I download the character, I can select the character. I'll insert her, swap the character, see how that worked. And I can come to Format. Let's say I want to crop her and make her look a little larger here. What's nice with these vector illustrations, uh, they remain nice and crisp. And so they are always going to look really good uh, in your courses. So that's basically it when you're working with the characters. Uh, the key point is 
Uh, you'll have characters on your system. If you want characters, you're going to need to make sure that you're connected and that you're able to download those characters. Otherwise, you don't have access to them without being connected to the internet. If you have any questions, jump in the community and ask. Have fun playing with the characters. A lot of neat options with those. And then watch the other tutorials to learn more about working with Presenter 360.